Can you tell I've cried? <laughs> One thirty. I have been editing my sister's wedding video and every time I listen to the music that I picked for it I almost start to tear, tear up and I'm so excited to go to her wedding. It's gonna be really fun But you guys <laughs> When you see this video will it be the wedding yet? I don't know. I'm not gonna give you the specific date when you see this video Please send her some good vibes because <laughs> my sister is going through it her house flooded like we're talking in the past seven days. Her wedding is in less than two weeks, okay? Just for reference. She's getting married in less than two weeks. Her house flooded. She has the restoration team on site. She had to cancel her Airbnb um, guests that stay in that house. She's trying to move. She's having a custody battle with an ex. We won't go there. Um, she tried on her wedding dress for the final fitting and like done, walk away, go, go get married fitting and it doesn't fit. The chest doesn't mold around her chest. <laughs> Like there's a, it's concave. Like it doesn't pop out like a chest does. It's concave. Uh, let's see what else. Um, she's in school full time for her nurse practitionership certificate. Um, and that those finals are coming up right after the wedding. She um, works full time and they refuse to give her this week off work. <laughs> To get married so she literally works until the day she gets married and I I feel so bad for her so we cried yesterday and today she's driving with her best friend to go and get a new dress the the place agreed to get her a new dress and speed up the any kind of alterations that have to have to happen with it but I feel so bad for her so I was very grateful to like spend my morning today working on my computer and uh, finishing her wedding video I will be making one or two more for her of the actual wedding I had to make sure that it was recording but you guys, I've been, been also crying because, that's really strange, was that like magnetized to my, was that up here this whole time? <laughs> it must have gotten caught on my hand and I like went to adjust my glasses. There's a magnet up here on the top of my glasses. <laughs> what if I had walked around town with a little paper clip magnetized to my glasses? That's hilarious. I'm gonna go back in the video and see how far that, how long that's been on my glasses. I am a basket case. Also, I, I'm not gonna go into it. I'm up too much right now, um, and I'm not gonna even talk to Abby about it on camera. She doesn't do that, but without going into too much detail, she had a panic attack last night, and just, she didn't go to school. Um, just got off the phone with the nurse of her orthopedic specialist that we have gone to over at Children's Hospital, and her PT is not working. She's very frustrated. She feels like she's failing. She is an achiever. <laughs> and so if she can't study and get an A and do the homework and get an A and clean her room and have a clean room and organize and have an organized room, like then she feels like she's failed. And she feels like she's failed because she is still in pain after PT. And all that kind of came out last night for her. I hate when my kids are in pain. <sighs> so hard to see them in pain and not have an answer. It's one thing to like, you have a headache, go take some medicine, go lay down. She's had this chronic pain since October of last year. So the nurse, she's gonna verify with my, the doctor, but we're gonna have her do PT three more times, once today and then two more next week before um, we follow up with the doctor. And um, the doctor's already told us that MRI is the next phase to try and determine what's wrong with her back. I still have not heard back from my pediatrician on whether she had any rheumatoid issues. Um, I'm having problems getting access to her portal and so I can't see the test results from that. And their <laughs> pediatrician's office was shut. They couldn't get any of their scheduling and on, like calling system to work and so I couldn't get through to actually talk to anyone about any of that stuff. So I'm waiting on that. I just, I hate that she's in pain. Um, I actually need to call. Um, we haven't heard back from insurance for her wisdom teeth yet, which is, it's due. I should be able to schedule that appointment right after this wedding and solve her jaw pain. I just, I want to be able to solve as many of these problems um, for her that I can. And I think every parent will agree that you want to like solve your kids' problems if you can. Ugh, it's just hard when you can't. So, problem is, <laughs> Now I have an appointment with Ashley to do her therapy online and I'm crying and my face is red and um, I'm watching Chateau Diaries on this computer and I've been editing on that computer. So I haven't done anything today. I've eaten well. I have eaten well. That's a good thing. I just feel so bad 
and so um, I am so red you guys I'm sorry but my eyes are really blue I guess that's the advantage of turning bright red is that my eyes are blue I'm gonna go and wash my face with cold water so that I'm not bright red going on to this therapy call um, and then I've got to go pick up those two girls Kaylee and Abby from high school and um, take Abby to PT. Um, Kaylee is getting really anxious because her boyfriend graduates tomorrow. <laughs> so I think they're all having the feels, just like I am, just for different reasons. So just, you know, pray for Abby, pray for my sister, um, that everything will work out and we'll get things solved and my sister can be happily married and my Abby will be able to get some answers and some solutions. It's like I said, there's pain medicine shouldn't be the answer. At this point, we've got to figure out how to help her. Excellent therapy call. Are you coming with me? Yes? You should tell them you're funny, um, what you did for school too. Go get your sign. So um, we were telling her doctor this today. So this week at her school, um, she has like, there's an activity every day. We gotta go, you gotta get up. Can you also look at shirts, yellow. Okay, we have a few minutes. I'm gonna, you get your shoes on. I'm gonna run upstairs and keep talking to them. So every day this week at school, it's been like a new activity to kind of round out the end of the year. And today was be you, be yourself kind of a day. And so they had, and tomorrow is like rainbow day. So everyone wears a different color of the rainbow. And so that's what I'm looking for for her right now is yellow. And we remembered that the granddaughter day shirts were yellow. And they usually end up as pajama shirts and like in the bottom of the drawers. And so we're looking at Kaylee and Abby's drawer. That looks like it's all Hawaiian stuff. Remember that shirt of Kaylee's? <laughs> um, I don't even like looking in their drawers. Here, though. I've checked. You looked in here yesterday? Yeah, and it wasn't here. Abby organized this really well, so I think it would be obvious. Yeah. It if would she be. had something. It would be obvious. But maybe it's back here in Kaylee's side. No. Kaylee is not as organized. <laughs> Did you check in Chelsea's? No. Okay, so really quick, um, yellow is tomorrow. We'll find the shirt. But <laughs> so today was be you. Like show what it means to be you. You could dress up, you could wear all one color that's your favorite color. You could do whatever you want. So the thing is, in the two years, three years that Chelsea and Ashley were in school together. Yeah. Everyone called you what? Mini Chelsea. Mini Chelsea. Cause you looked very similar, right? Principal that was brand new, walked in, saw Ashley, doesn't know who she is, doesn't know her last name. She was like, holy moly, you're Chelsea's sister. <laughs> it was insane as a kindergartner, knew exactly who her sister was. It's like everyone, I was like, I was like, how does everyone know no, me? Yeah. And like, how does everyone know my name? Yeah. So today, she we made this little sign and she wore it around her neck. Right. And she's Minnie Chelsea. <laughs> That's epitome of who she is. Still, to everyone, for is school, yeah. Minnie Chelsea for school. So that was a fun sign to make. Did you check your own drawers? Do you I even want to admit someone took, I think someone how messy mine. your drawers are? No, someone took mine. Uh, and then I had to wear a different one. We took it. Why did we take it? We took a new one. We got a new one. Oh, at the actual, like when we were there last yeah. year? Yeah, so maybe there. Well, that doesn't help us for tomorrow. So, we might... See, there's a Girls on the Run shirt. But we just need yellow. We are not finding... Yeah, we don't have We're not yellow. finding yellow. Okay. Your shoes on, Ash? Oh, wow. There's I a yellow. It. I know, but it's still yellow. I don't really use that. You can turn it inside out if you don't no. want that to show. No. Okay, well, guess what? It's a yellow shirt. I see a lot of yellow in here. Oh, that's a rash guard. Can't use that. A swimsuit. <laughs> Not wearing pajamas. Um, you wear pajamas to school I don't wear often. That. Look, you even have yellow that's shorts. Legit. Like How come you're willing to wear pajamas for pajama day, but not for this? That's I don't like those pajamas. I don't like them. Well, I'm not buying no clothes. I literally just found just full on yellow. Yellow shirt and then black pants. And we don't need How many? Pants. Like you have so many clothes. I don't we know. Just one shirt. I don't know. 
We will we'll talk. We'll talk. We gotta go get Abby. We also just got Dad's Father's Day gift. He doesn't know that I bought. We also can't say it. Yep, I can't say it. I legit don't know when Father's Day is. <laughs> you don't? No, when is it? Is it next Sunday? Yeah, I think. Am I speaking on Father's Day? Yeah. Is it in three days? Um, Here, let's ask. Suri. Hey, Suri. When is Father's Day? Father's Day is on Sunday, the 19th of June, 2022. Oh, okay. So it's not. I was, it's not this Sunday. Yeah. All right, but I'm ahead of the game. I have his Father's Day gift. So I, oh my goodness that sakes! She was, that's my book. Um, I'm ahead of the game on his Father's Day gift. He might get mad at me for the concept of buying him something, um, and then he will be okay with how I bought it, like what funds I bought it with, and then he'll be okay once he finds out once it, what it is take that out yeah. <laughs> that, get, that was too much of a clue I have to take that out <laughs> I said something and Ashley was like that's a dead giveaway so I can't even say that that was a dead giveaway so yeah. um, I can't even show you guys yet because this video will come out before Father's Day um, but that was a fun thing I also got I'll show you when I get home I got a new dress for the wedding I tried on the pink one and it's it fits it's pretty it's flowy but as my Abby said it just isn't form-fitting and I think you would look better in something form-fitting and then flowy something showing your shape better so I got a new dress I'm gonna try it on when I get home and then hopefully that one will work and then I think I'm gonna take both of them just in case one gets dirty because I will be going to two different evenings of weddings and receptions so I want to have something clean just in case one gets dirty because I won't have time to clean one at all I will have a place to clean it but I won't have time to so I'll show you that when I get home Okay, so Ashley wants this one, but there's no size. So we're over here. Hurry, the tank top. This is our only other choice. There you go, 10, 12. Okay, Show them, quick. We, can't we gotta hurry. Walking. Say sunny days ahead. And then let's pray there's sunny days ahead, right? All right, while we waited to drop Abby off at her appointment, I quickly made an appointment for this one to go get her hair cut. She didn't know about it. So she got home from school and showered. <laughs> and so now she has wet hair. That's okay, they can cut it wet. Yeah. And it's clean. Um, I have a headache, like a really bad headache. So I'm, I didn't get really get this bad until after I made this appointment. And we need her haircut for the wedding, right? And so I need to get it done. Uh, so, and I need to get my nails done next week. So, I need to just kind of go forward with this appointment, but I just don't feel good. My camera's not working right. Oh, my head just hurts so bad. But, what I want to do is just go home and lay down on the couch. Which I think I can, as soon as we pick everyone up. Also, I have to go get cash for you, right, Boo? Yep. I forgot to order her yearbook. <laughs> Got everyone else's. Mine is coming soon. Are you on the list? Don't know. I'm pretty sure I already checked yours. I can see on your website that I already paid for your yearbook, but I didn't pay for Ashley's. Her teacher emailed me today and she's like, Ashley was asking about yearbooks, but she's not signed up to get one. <laughs> I gotta stop talking, my head hurts. You like your haircut? Yeah, it's cool. It's just nice and clean, right? You had them rounded at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Fresh. And I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm gonna go home and lay down. So they're on their own for a little while until dad gets home. All right, I got my dress in the mail, but I cannot show you Jason's gift. It's right here. So that's how big it is as a teaser for him. But I'm gonna check it out and then I'm gonna put the dress on. I'll show you that one. All right, here's the dress. I've got to get a tank top underneath it. I don't like that it gives too much attention right here, but I do like the, hey, how you doing? Anyway. 
sorry, Jason called right when I was trying to show you guys the dress. Obviously, it'll look better when I'm with makeup and hair done, but I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I need a tank top right here, but I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's definitely, um, there's more form, but I just don't know if I want my, I don't know, maybe a better bra. Maybe a better bra will bring that up and I can get some shapewear or something to kind of tuck that down in, give myself some more form. But I'm gonna go lay down for now. So I'm laying down here and Ashley just got home. I don't think she touched any bushes or anything, but she's got like this little, I think it's a burn, a rubber burn from the- This doesn't look like a burn. The burn burns are it like sting? Because I rinsed it under water, I thought it could like- Like an allergic reaction. I rinsed it under water because I thought it was just like a cut and it was stinging, so I rinsed it under water and then it just appeared. Uh, yeah, it's really red. Okay, go take a bath. See if that helps. And then I'll look at it when you're done, okay? Yeah. Sorry, kiddo. Look at what my man did. He brought me a tray. I'm not really... I'm just wanting to like be in bed at this point so that my headache doesn't come back. Oh, he brought me ramen. Watch out, I don't... Is it secure? No, I need to move the blankets from the other side. Like, here, this is too puffy right here. I'll be okay. I'm sitting up. All right, have fun. You gonna go for a run? After I eat. I All right. Know, and then I gotta stretch and rest, and then I'll go. <laughs> have a snack, and then. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. So much is happening from my bedside. Yeah. So there's her hair all done. It feels like here. Wait, wait, wait. Make it straight across your back. I want to see if it's even. Okay. Yeah, it looked even in the in the place, but. Okay, you're gonna shower again because you played outside. <laughs> she loves to feel clean. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you? You can shut my door. You're the one taking a shower. Yeah, but that's your doing not mine. All right. Forgot to end our video yesterday. We're late to the bus this morning. I can't find my shoes. Okay. Ashley's going to show you her little yellow outfit, even though it's pouring rain and she has to wear a jacket. Yeah. Here's her cute yellow, and I know it's like raining, but here's her cute little yellow outfit. Yeah. We did yellow space buns. Then, That's as close as we're going to get today on a rainy day. Also, my kids, kids took my umbrella, so I'm going to put you down so that I can take her to the bus. Okay, well that was a little rushed getting to the bus stop, and then I had no umbrella, so I had to use the tree as my umbrella. <laughs> it's a little rough. Um, I actually think my older girls are still in bed. They had like half day today, actually like only till like 11. And because the teachers need to get ready to go to graduation tonight because they're, they have to participate in graduation tonight for the seniors. And so my kids are like, there's nothing for us to do. It's 20 minute classes. And every single teacher has told us we're all just like watching movie. Like there's nothing going on. We're, the finals aren't happening today. But like, we understand if you don't want to come. <laughs> it's like this universal, it's all right. We're going to excuse the, well, I mean, I'll excuse the absence. I'll call the school, but anywho, we're going to sign off with you guys tonight. Today, it's my morning for me, but we're going to end with you guys here. And I don't know, I might pick up the camera again today, current day. Um, we'll just see. I've got to edit this video and work on my talk for church because <laughs> That needs to get finalized here. And then I also realized I have to teach my little nine-year-old primary class. <laughs> so it's like everything is happening on Sunday. <laughs> I have to do everything. So I've got to like take some time for that. So we'll see. I also need to go and try on new bras and a little shape tank top, um, shapewear type thing. Um, so you'll see. If I, if I go do that today, I'll take you guys with me and we'll kind of go through that experience. <laughs> Never had a shapewear tank top. Um, but I think that's going to be better than um, like shorts and stuff to kind of hide that tummy line in that dress that I just got. Um, and it will be as hot for me to wear a tank top. So we'll see you guys next time. the magic places in the world I've been to. This is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.